Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this amazing shape animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition. We will call it as our shape animation width i'll choose 180 height also 180 frame rate is also one i mean 30 seconds and duration is 30 seconds and background color i'll choose white color and hit ok choose grid and guide option and hit titles f action now select this ellipse tool and simply double click on it so it will automatically create one ellipse now go to press s for scaling option and let's make it 40 press p for position create one keyframe Press S for scaling option and create one keyframe. Hit U and go to around 20 seconds and again create one keyframe on both of them. Go initially, let's make it 0. I'll delete this first position keyframe. Now select the scale keyframes of this layer. Hit F9. Go to the graph editor. Select this graph and by holding shift, I'll move this handle over here. So we'll get this kind of shape animation. Now from this to 1.20 frames, at this point, I'll move this thing over here, just like that. Now select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph and by holding shift, I'll adjust it like that. As simple as that. Now I have some color codes over here, so I'll copy this first one, hit Ctrl C and I'll go to the fill option and hit ctrl v to paste it now select this layer hit enter and let's type purple hit ctrl d press p now go to the align tab align it horizontally and i'll move this over here zoom in a little bit like that now i'll copy the second color code by hitting ctrl c select this one and paste I'll call it as pinkish hit ctrl D P align it vertically and move this thing over here zoom in a little bit by holding shift I'll move this thing over here like that now i'll copy the second color code of this one i mean third one hit ctrl c select this one go to the fill and hit ctrl v I hit enter and type pink again select this one and hit ctrl d press p align it horizontally zoom in by holding shift i'll move this thing over here just like that select the fourth one hit ctrl c select this one and hit ctrl v hit enter and i'll call it as light pink and hit ok so if i see now this animation will look like this now after that i'll right click and create one null object select this null object press r for rotation create one keyframe and go to around 3.10 frames and let's make it a complete one rotation so what i'll do i'll type one over here and select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this one over here and this one over here yeah so now go over here select this light pink make it apparent with this null one select this null one hit ctrl d drag in the middle of light pink and pink this select this pink and make it apparent with this null one hit ctrl d again move it over here pinkish should be apparent with this null one again hit ctrl d bring it over here and make it apparent with this one so we'll get this kind of animation now at, at this point i'll hit p again select all the shape layers just like that and create one keyframe on the position around 4 point let's say 4.10 frames I'll change the position of all this shape 
so i'll go over here select this one by holding shift zoom in a little bit zoom out a little bit i'll move this thing over here this thing over here this thing over here and this thing should be here now select all the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and by holding shift i'll move this handle over here so if we hit play we'll get this kind of animation after the rotation now our basic animation is ready now what we will do we will pre comp all of them so select this light pink and null object but before that select this light pink hit enter and hit ctrl c the name of this layer because we need to name the pre comp as the our shape layers so i'll select both of them press ctrl shift c to pre comp it and hit ctrl v so it will paste the name also hit enter hit ctrl c select both the layers press ctrl shift c and hit ctrl v to name the layer again hit ctrl enter i mean enter hit ctrl c select both the layers press ctrl shift c to pre comp and ctrl v to paste the name same procedure for the last one just like that so now if i hit play we will get this kind of animation now what we will do let's see let's see which one is at the high this one so now what we will do we will select this as you can see these two uh, these two circles are connected with this light pink so we will select this pink and this purple over here select both of them hit ctrl d to copy press ctrl shift c and let's call it as mask and hit ok and all we need to do we need to drag it at the top of this light pink so drag it over here select this light pink and i'll choose inverted mat now if you know what will happen if i enable this option as you can see we are getting this intersections just like that now we have to focus on this pink as we can see we have this circle and this circle connected to this pink so what we will do we will select this pinkish and this light pink hit ctrl d drag it at the top press ctrl shift c and again we will call it as mask and hit ok and we will drag it at the top of this pink so and then we will make it inverted mat so i will drag this mask over here and make it alpha inverted mat now we have to focus on this pinkish as we can see we have this purple and this pink over here this purple and this pink so select both of them hit ctrl d drag it at the top hit ctrl shift c and let's call it as mask again hit ok and drag it at the top of this pinkish and again alpha inverted mat now we have this purple and these two circles are connected with them which is our pinkish and this light pink so select both of them hit ctrl d drag it at the top and i'll choose no title track for any one of them select both of them and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as mask again and drag it at the top of this purple and again i'll choose alpha inverted mat so as we can see we are getting something like that so this is our first animation of this shape animation now we have to do some changes but before that what we will do as i know my animation is completed at this point so i'll hit n to pre comp this i mean to control this time below and after that in this work area i'll right click and i'll choose trim comp to work area just like that so choose trim comp to work area so it will trim the comp up to here now i'll hit ctrl n to create a new composition now this is gonna be my main animation and for this i'll choose width 1920 by 180 width i'll choose 1920 height is 180 frame rate 30 and other things are same hit ok and drag this shape animation comp over here 
if we see we will get something like that now right click go to the time and choose time enable remapping just like that so as we can see we are getting keyframes over here this is our last keyframe so after go over here and page hit page up button to get back at one frame and create one keyframe on time enable remapping and delete this last lay keyframe alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it just like that and after that we need to increase the length of this comp so zoom out and increase the length of this composition like that so now it will animate continuously just like that now we need to duplicate this layer and we need to do some changes on this layer so for that what we'll do i'll select the layer hit ctrl d now this is my project window out of which i'll select the shape layer and hit ctrl d and by holding alt i'll drag it on this first one sorry what i'll do i'll go to the project window i'll duplicate this and by holding alt i'll drag it on my first layer just like that and simply double click on it to enable this layer now after that as we know we have selected the alpha inverted mat but for this one i'll choose alpha mat so we will get this kind of shape animations over here now go to the shape animation and if we see i mean in main animation if we see we are getting this kind of stuff but what we will do we will select this second layer press s for scaling option and if we scale it we will get this kind of stuff just like that now right click create one null object i'll go around here select both the layers make it apparent with this null too select this null too press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit just like that and hit ok just like that hit ctrl k if you want this much height so you are free to do i'll choose 1080 only so this is gonna be my final looping shape animation just like that So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.